Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel and here we are back at my essential oil tables because today I'm going to make a recipe that I need in my drawers and my closets. And I've cleaned out a bunch of my uh, clothes since I retired. I've donated a bunch of them. But then I'm trying to organize things and I wanted something that's going to keep my closet fresh and deodorized and nice. And I remembered in one of my monthly Simply Earth kits, there was a recipe for a drawer deodorizer. So I went and got that and I'm going to make that for you. Um, there's, I love the monthly kit that I get because every month you get four full-size oils, six recipes, and the special ingredients that you need to make them. Like sometimes you might need some uh, pair of some like beeswax or uh, something like that or special containers and those will all come each month. If you're interested, go down in my description. There's a link to Simply Earth and it tells you all about it. You can make a decision there but if you sign up through that link you get ten dollars off your first five monthly kits which is pretty good so anyway with the drawer deodorizer i actually have these uh they're muslin bags they're little drawstring bags that are three by four you can make these out of muslin or cotton whatever you want i just ordered these because i like to use these when i make my own herb teas so i will use these as basically a tea bag that's reusable but i have these and i'm going to put these in my drawers I'm using blood orange today and clove, according to the recipe. The reason I'm using these is because they're really, really good for uh, deodorizing and the cleaning. And they're nice in uh, homemade cleaning supplies, too. But for now, they're just going to be in my drawer uh, and in my closet to help it just stay nice. And it's going to be a good thing. So I'm going to use five drops of clove on each of these cotton balls. I have two cotton balls in my little canning jar. So I'm going to put five drops. Here we go. Let's go. It's a thicker oil, so it takes a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll do five on the other one. Two, three, four, five. Always remember when you're using essential oils, don't just assume because you buy it at the store and you can take it home and use it, that it's safe to be around uh, certain ch age, children ages or animals. So always, always, always do your research on your oils. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Mm, one, two, three, four, five. Blood orange is a lot, uh, not nearly as thick as clove, so it comes out a lot faster. Also, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm just going to kind of mash that into those cotton balls and let it sit for a minute or two before I put them in the bags. Now, I do want to tell you that uh, one of the reasons I like to support Simply Earth and that's why I'm promoting it to you guys. And they don't, they don't, um, they haven't contacted me or anything. I literally have my own subscription to do this. They don't even know that I'm showing you this. But uh, one of the reasons that I like it is because 13% of their profits go to a different organization every single month to uh, help prevent human trafficking. And so on the back of a card, you'll get the four uh, in information about the four oils that you got this much this month you'll get the extra a list of the extras that should have been in your box to create the six recipes that they send you. But one of the cards will also tell you about the organization. Um, this one here, for example, the one that came with the solid perfume, which I'll make for you guys on the back of it this month, 13% of the organization, 13% uh, of their profits went to the organization wipe every tier. And you can click on their organization and see what they do. So I just think that's a really nice thing. It's a win-win. I get awesome oils, awesome recipes, and uh, help out in human trafficking prevention. So that's nice. All right, I've let those sit there. Now I'm going to take one of them and put them in this little muslin bag and tie it shut. And this one, and it smells so good. Oh, my gosh. This smells so good. Oh, it's so good. And I'm just going to go lay these, like, in my sock drawer or uh, make a couple of them to hang. Um, maybe from the shelf in my closet, but these, uh, the, the mixture of the clove and the blood orange is awesome and it smells so good and it will be perfect in your drawer. I will tell you, don't lay this right on top of your clothes. Um, maybe put an older pair of sock there and lay it on there because you don't want the oil to, um, get onto maybe, uh, a very nice shirt or something. You might, you might, it might make a spot, but other than that, you're just going to lay these in your drawer or hang them in your closet and they are going to help keep it fresh and you can come back anytime and just refresh it when you notice the smell is going away 
And so there you go. There is an awesome, awesome drawer and closet deodorizer right there. Love essential oils. And I hope you try this. And if you've got any other blends that you love, be sure and let me know. I'd love to try them. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.